Welcome to another back of the net recording. This is helping you to solve equations. Um, okay, first of all, very simple equation x plus 5 equals 8. We can solve that by inspection. Inspection means you look at it and you can basically know the answer. Clearly, here, what do we add to 5 to give us 8? Must be 3. So we can write x equals 3. That question will be done. I would, however, like to show you a more formal method for doing that that will help us later on. You start with x, we then add 5 to it, and that gives us 8. I'm now able to undo that. 8, the opposite of adding 5, or the inverse, is to take 5, which will leave us with 3. And I know that x equals 3. And I can check that 3 plus 5 is 8. This equation here, y occurs twice. So I'd rewrite that as 2y equals 12. We may solve that by inspection. What times 2 gives us 12? Must be 6. y equals 6. The other way, y times by 2. This way is called the machine chain way. And that gives us 12. And doing that, 12 divided by 2 will give us 6. So we know y equals 6. Again, we can check. 6 add 6 is 12. I got it right. OK. This one's slightly more complicated. 3g minus 7 equals 8. And this would probably help start from the very start with our machine chain. g, the first thing we need to do is times by 3. And we do the timesing first because it's big maths. That's the order of operations. It's important we do it in that order. When I've times it by 3, I'm then going to take the 7. So I write in there, subtract 7, and that's giving us the answer 8. To undo that, I need to do the inverse of those two operations. The inverse of take 7 is to add 7, and the inverse of times 3 is to divide by 3. And that will give my answer. So 8 add the 7 is 15. 15 divided by the 3 is 5. So I think g equals 5. I'm going to write that down now. If g was 5, 5 times 3 is 15. Take the 7 is 8. I've got that correct. OK, question D is one of the most difficult ones you'll get. We've got a bracket on this side with a k. And we've also got the k on this side. So this is an equation with the unknown on both sides. The first thing we're going to do is to remove that bracket. 5 times k is 5k. 5 times the 1 is 5, and it's positive, so it's plus 5. So I've rewritten that equation. Both these equations are saying, or well, these lines are saying exactly the same thing. They're just written in a different form. I could draw this as k, 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 5 of them, and then a 5 kilogram weight. That's balancing with, no, a little bit longer, three Ks, one, two, three, and a 12 kilogram weight. I could simplify my problem by taking the K off that side. So I take one K from there to keep my scales balanced so they don't tip down around here, I need to take a K from there. I can do that three times. So I've taken 3k's from this side and 3k's from this side. I'd be left with, draw a picture here, k, k, just 2. I had 5. I've taken 3, leaves me with 2. Still got my 5 kilogram weight. I'm balancing on this side now. Well, all those k's have gone. I've just got my 12 kilogram weight. So that's a pictorial representation, a picture of what's gone on. I can write it algebraically here. Take the 3k's away. I'm just left with the 12. If I do 5k's to take away the 3k's, it's 2k, but I've still got that 5. There we go. 2k's plus 5 equals 12. I can now use the method we did just now, which was k times 2 plus 5. I just draw those boxes round so it's neat for you to see, so we all know what we're doing. Gave us 12. 12. Now I've got to undo both those operations in the reverse order opposite of adding 5, or the inverse of adding 5, is to subtract 5. The inverse of times in by 2 is to divide by 2. 
There we go. 12, take 5, is 7. 7 divided by 2 is 3 and a half. You can either write 3 and a half, or you could write 7 point, sorry, 3.5. Answer here would be, I'll write it over here, k equals 3 and 1 half. There we go. Hope that's helped you. You could now check the k there. Three and a half, four and a half, four and a half times five. Is that going to balance with three times three and a half plus the twelve? Okay, some questions for you to do there. Um, if you press pause now, I'll come back in a minute. Okay. Welcome back. Let's try each of these for you. First of all, m plus 5 equals 12. You'd probably solve this one by inspection. That means just looking at it and knowing. What do we add to 5 to give us 12? Answer 7. m equals 7. If you tried the flow diagram way, you'd have had m plus the 7 gave you 12. And then 12 minus the 7 would give you 5. Still get m equals 5. Okay? That's called the, I said the flow diagram way, it's also called the machine chain, chain way. They're both the same terms for the same thing. Machine chain and flow diagram are the same. This one, something times n is 36. If you're good at your times table, you know that 3 12s are 36, so n equals 12. We could have done n times by 3 gave you 36. So 36 is the inverse. It's divided by 3, which gives you 12. So n equals 12. Again. Next one, I've put this one in because this is a division, and some people don't recognise that that there is a division sign. So I'm going to do this flow diagram way. x divided by 5 gives me 10. To undo that, 10 times by 5 will give me x. Well, 10 times 5 is 50. So x equals 50. Right down here, x equals 50. Okay. This one here, two-step problem, relatively straightforward. Let's use this machine chain again. y times by 4 first of all. Then I'm going to add my 7. Add the 7 gives us 13. So working backwards, 13 subtract the 7, divide by 4. Okay, 13 subtract the 7, I believe is 6. 6 divided by 4. You may want to write that like that in the exam, just 6 divided by 4. That would be your first stage of working. You now need to simplify that. How many 4s in 6? Well, that's. 1 and 2 remaining, so 2 quarters, which equals 1 and 1 half, 1.5. Okay. Some more for you to have a go at. If you press pause now, welcome back. I'll just quickly give you the answers to these. You should be getting good at these now. This one, solving by inspection, what do you have to 6 to give you 10? 4. C equals 10. You could have done the flow diagram. I won't necessarily show you that one now. E divided by 3 is 6. I will show you for this one. E divided by 3 gives me 6. So working backwards, 6 times by 3 will give me E. 6 times 3 is 18. E equals 18. Make sure you've written that somewhere clearly. Last one, two-step problem, x times 2 minus 3, again, draw our little boxes around there, gives us 10, so 10, add the 3, then add 3 is 13, and we've got to divide by the 2, 13 divided by 2, if you're struggling with that, next nearest number, 12 divided by 2 is 6, that would be the half. Okay, six and a half. Now you probably wouldn't be able to guess that one. That's not a bad strategy using the machine chain going out and coming back in with the reverse. 
Okay, there's two for you to do here. I believe this is the last slide on this one. So if you'd like to press pause now and have a go. Welcome back. Just change the colour pen, something a bit different. First of all, times out your bracket. Should have got 8x. 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times 3 is 12, and it's a minus, so minus 12. That side stays the same. Now you could draw your balance scales out there, but I'm just going to subtract the 5x from there. I'm going to subtract 5x from there. The reason I took 5x was I just wanted the 7 left on this side. And I chose to take 5x because that's a side where there are already the least number of x's. I had 5 here and 8 there. So take away 5 leaves with no x's, just a 7. 8x take 5x will be 3x, and I've still got my minus 12. Sorry, the ball skipped a bit there. 3x minus 12. And now I can solve that by the flow diagram method. x times 3, then subtract 12, gives us 7. 7, add 12, that's 19, divided by 3. 19 divided by 3, I'm struggling with that. I can do 18 divided by 3 is 6, and there'll be a third of it because it's one share between the 3 there still to go. So 6 and a third. You'd never guess that in an exam. You need to have that method. So first of all, we call it the balancing there. The balance method to get you to a two-step problem with the x on one side, and then you went into the machine chain or flow diagram method to do the inverse operation and do it all. Second one here, I've got more y's here than there, so I'm going to take that y there away. Must take a y there to keep it balanced. Leaves me with 2y plus 12 equals 8. Solving that one now, y times 2 plus the 12 gave me 8. 8. Subtract the 12 and then divide by the 2. Well, 8 subtract 12 is negative 4. Negative 4 divided by 2. Well, 4 divided by 2 is 2. A minus divided by a plus will be a minus. The whole dividing negative numbers is exactly the same as multiplying. Good thing happens to a good person is good. Good thing happens to a bad person is bad. Bad thing happening to a bad... Sorry, bad thing happening to a good person is bad. Whereas a bad thing happening to a bad person is good. We sometimes call that the Daily Mail rules. Okay, there's my answer. Minus 2. And we could just check me right for this one. Minus 2 times 3 would give me minus 6. Add 12. And then I've got minus 2. Add 8. Minus 6 add 12 would give me a total of plus... Sorry, plus 6. Minus 2 add 8 gives me a total of plus 6 as well. So I know I've got that correct. I think that's all for equations. It certainly is. I hope that's been helpful. Go back to the beginning and play again. If not, if you're really still struggling, come and have a chat. Of course, you must always go and watch another Back of the Net recording. <laughs>